Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Only see the son of Nube is your host again. And we wake up to another blow, uh, another bolt of sad news, especially regarding the Zimbabwean opposition, that is the mainstream opposition party, Triple C. Well, if you have been uh, one of those that were doubting the goings on in the party, you've got to just feel for them because now this is uh, this seems out way way out of line. The so-called interim secretary general of the party, uh, Mr. Sengezo Chabang, has, after he recalled members of parliament, senators, and councillors, uh, claiming that they had been imposed, especially those that were put by the party to contest in some seats in Matebele land. He has now gone on to recall several other people from outside of Matebele land. And he claims that they have ceased to be members of the party. But now what happens is that he doesn't state how these people have ceased to be members of the party. And he, he doesn't prove that indeed they have ceased to be members of the party or that there was consensus in recalling them. He just seems to be uh, wielding his machete on just anyone whose name he can remember or who he seems to have a personal vendetta against. And now this is now worrying because it seems to be a well-calculated well ploy by this man to completely destroy the opposition. Because for starters, even if he were a, a secretary general of the party, he wasn't supposed to willy-nilly wield the X on anyone that he thinks should be out of the party. Because party is run by consensus and when he does these things he sends what is uh, apparently a constitution of the party which is actually a bastardized constitution of the mdc alliance uh, which he says was adopted by triple c but in that constitution there must be ways by which somebody can cease to be a member of the party and there should be procedures and protocols that are followed it cannot just be the secretary general especially on an interim basis just waking up to write the speaker of parliament to write to whoever he wants to write to to write to the local government uh, public works and national housing minister stating that so and so has stopped to be a member of the party now this this gives credence to those who are uh, accusing him of working with zanu pf because to be honest whether or not he has any grievances uh it seems that he is well intent on destroying the opposition and we all know who benefits from the opposition being destroyed is not Sengezo Chabangu himself unless he's being paid to do this. It's not the people who elected these people and it's not even Triple C because what he's doing right now is that he is destroying the party. He's completely destroying the party in an attempt to try and destroy Advocate Nelson Chamisa which will not work because what it does now as he continues to dissect the opposition to pulverize the opposition is actually strengthening Chamisa's resolve is also strengthening the support for Chamisa because it makes Chamisa appear like a, a victim of ZANU-PF and he is right now, according to what is happening, directly a victim of ZANU-PF because anything that happens to Triple C, which can destroy Triple C, is uh, a plus to Nelson Chamisa who has always been claiming that ZANU PF wants to destroy his party and now it's making it impossible for Triple C to deliver in those seats where they were elected. So now what has happened is that Sengezo Chabang has written a letter. It was written on the 7th of November but it came to light yesterday and this morning. He wrote to uh, Winston Jitando who is the Minister of Local Government, Public Works and National Housing uh, recalling nine councillors uh, uh five of them elected directly into council and the other five uh, elected on pr so include included in that list uh is the mayor of harare uh, mr ian makone and his deputy 
Kutsai Katsombe. Uh, so they are part of the nine councillors he has recalled uh, on the pretense that he is the interim secretary general of Triple C. Uh, he is seemingly taking advantage of the failure of the party to have a constitution and a structure and is seemingly taking advantage of that to recall whoever he thinks can be recalled. So I will read the nine councillors that have been recalled. So the, the, they are all in the Harare City Council. You will remember that Sengezo Chabamu began his fight claiming that people were being imported to Matepeleland from different areas, to Bulawa from different areas. But now you wonder why you would think that uh, Ian Makone was imported to Harare from where? So he has recalled uh, Denford Ngatsiwore of the Council of Ward 16 uh, in Harare City Council, Kutsai Katsombe of Ward 41, Love Joy Chiteku of Ward 36, Ian Muteto Makone of Ward 18, and Samuel Quenzi of Ward 5. These were directly elected by Harare residents because they have faith in them and but now Sengezo Chabong has recalled them. Then these other five were elected via PR uh, representation uh are Chido Hamuswa, uh, Tiriboy Sabina, Florence Cheza, and Matimba Fazai. All of them are Harare. So he has recalled nine uh councillors from Harare. I mean yeah, he has recalled nine councillors, so it's four PR and five directly elected by the people. And it uh, it looks like Sengezo Chabang is still going to recall several other people, uh, including MPs, for as long as Harare, or let me say, for as long as the the, the administration uh, in Harare continues to allow him to do this, continues to give him this power. He seems to be intent on pulverizing the opposition, on completely crushing the opposition. So what we think right now is that Triple C, uh, or rather Nelson Chamisa, needs to start afresh. It doesn't. It doesn't take long to for a, to register a party in Zimbabwe or to notify the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission but now what they need to do is to guard against this these loopholes which saw uh, an obvious chance uh, opportunist in the guy called Sengezo Chabang going out to pulverize them so what they need to do going to the by elections because there will be by elections after this what they need to do uh, Nelson Chamisa just needs uh, to start afresh if it means recalling everyone who is in parliament uh, and local government to crush this Sengezo Chabang and these things and start afresh uh, and contest because it's obvious that Nelson Chamisa is going to win anyway in the open centers for as long as he is structured for as long as there are by elections there is no way that ZANU PF can beat him but now with this thing what that is happening of them being recalled and going back uh, to contest under the name triple c is only worsening the situation is only further destroying the opposition is only further strengthening the hand of zanu pf via sengezo chabang so this needs to be stemmed in the part because what you, we are going to see is that even those that were recalled if they get elected if they don't get banned by the courts from contesting the by elections they will be recalled again by this man uh, called sengezo chabong because he seems also to be having some people behind him and the gift of has already uh, indicated that this guy could be working with some people within the party who are scared of coming out in the open, who are cowards and they are hiding behind this guy and he has become a willing tool uh, in their hand to try and uh, fight Nelson Chamisa. But now what uh, is uh, of actual, an actuality on the ground uh, is that Triple C is a party is gone because for as long as this circus continues people are going to lose faith in the party they are going to start thinking something else they are going to start moving out of the party even the voters will start asking themselves why should we continue voting these guys if number one they cannot protect the vote number two they cannot hold themselves together so this is what we have but we are told that some more recalls are coming and this thing is okay guy uh, is busy intent on further destroying the opposition party but 
he is failing also to uh, forward candidates for some areas like the Mavuku Tefara constituency where he recalled somebody saying that this person was imposed and then he fails to bring the person who was rightfully supposed to contest in that uh, uh, position. So we believe that Zanu PF, for as long as it sees these loopholes, is going to take advantage and pulverize the opposition. And they are gunning for the two thirds majority. They are also not only gunning for that, they are also gunning for the control of the urban centers. So, this is what we have for you. We'll continue to update you. But for now, continue uh, to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it.